Hey there guys, what's up? Paladin here once again with another YouTube video for you all today. And damn, it feels good to be making videos again, or at least just a helpful one. Uh, getting a helpful one out here for you guys. Batman Arkham Knight, as you all know, <laughs> you clicked on this video, you all know just recently came out. As you can tell, it's early in the morning for me. I went to the midnight launch and I got it. Now, something that I immediately noticed here is that when you go to it, uh, when Steam loads, it has a mostly negative already review. And I was staring at that and I was like, whoa, what the hell? What's going on here? Why does it have a mostly negative review going on? And, well, that's because a lot of people have been complaining that, you know, it basically is glitching out, FPS problems, all this other kind of stuff that's going on. And people are just getting a lot of stutters and it's unplayable and this and that and this and that. Um, now, as for the stutters and things glitching out, um, sorry, I just hit my mic, so I apologize if you heard that. But as for the stuttering and things glitching out, I'm assuming that'll get fixed with a patch. Now, as for the FPS problems, most of you have probably been noticing that you've been getting horrible FPS drops and horrible frame dips, and the game is basically unplayable. Well, thanks to a certain user here, which hopefully, yeah, here he is, Hypeo Mando, um, which I actually didn't mean to click on his profile, but whatever, his icon and shit is there. Um, but anyways, this comment right here, and he has a lot of comments directed towards this. Right here, I will give this video's credit to this guy right here. Right now, if you want to, you already know how to do this. Read everything that he says right here. All this stuff right here, this main paragraph right here. Um, the game has a built-in FPS lock, basically. The game is capping itself at 30 FPS, and this video is going to show you how to basically get it out of 30 FPS if you don't already know how to do it via this, how he's showing you how to do this. So first of all, go down here, File Explorer, got all your stuff here. Now, personally, I have two hard drives. I have my SSD and I have my hard drive, as you can see right here. My Steam stuff is running in my hard drive, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my hard drive here. If you are, if you only have one main drive, then this is a lot easier to fucking do. But basically, if you don't and you're confused, what you can do uh, right here is it says Steam Apps. Right here where it says Steam Apps right there in his comment. All you got to do, type in your C drive, you know, one of these two drives. You know, this is my C drive right here, but all my Steam stuff is on my E drive. So in your C drive, you know, if you only have one hard drive, if you can't find it, you just type in, you know, Steam Apps right here, and then it's going to start, you know, looking for it. And I, that was fast, actually, so it already found it for me. Um, I don't need to find it, though, because it's right here. So from your Steam Apps, or I'm sorry, your Steam Library, uh, you'll find your Steam Apps. You go to Common, and then you'll have all your games. When you start up, this is a warning, you need to start up Batman Arkham Knight first before doing this, otherwise the file will not appear. So start up the game, exit out, you know, um, and then come back into this. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into BM Game, go to Config, and then right here, after you've started up the game at least once, you'll have bmsystemsettings.ini. And it'll be, you know, an INI file. And basically, there's an FPS cap right here. Now, personally, my monitor allows for uh, 144 uh, hertz, so it allows me to push out 144 frames per second. I have it at 120 because I don't have a, um, a DisplayPort 2.0 cable, so I'm using a uh, DVI cable, and it's only allowing me to get 120 out of it. So basically what you want to do, when you first see this, this is going to be at 30. What you want to do if you've got a 60 hertz monitor, most people do, all you got to do, change it to 60, go to file, save it, you know, like that, close out, close out that, start up Batman, and there you go. Now, if you have a monitor, you know, that's higher than that, you know, like a 144 or a 120, you know, like me, then you go ahead, you put in 120 for your max FPS, save it, there you go, exit out, exit out, and, uh... I wonder if Steam, I wonder if OBS will actually capture this. Um, hopefully it should. Starting up the game here, and uh, hopefully you guys can all see this. This would suck. I would have to edit this part if you can't see it. Um, but here you see Batman is starting up. 
Uh, I can't skip anything, which really sucks, so it's basically going to be getting on my nerves here. I can't skip any of this. I apologize, guys. All of this is stuck in 30 FPS, by the way. Um, this has nothing to do with anything, as you can see in the top left corner. I have my FPS showing at the top left corner. I will show you how to do that. That is the Steam FPS counter. If you don't have that on right now, you should turn that on. Steam has an FPS counter now. You don't need to use fraps anymore, none of that crap. Just go into the Steam settings and then turn this on. I highly recommend you turn it on. That way for all your games, you know what your FPS is like. So I'm starting it up. And as you can see, I have nothing done in the game because I wanted to get this cleared up and everything. But as you can see, I am getting, you know, way over um, 100 FPS in the main menu. I already did a benchmark. My FPS is hanging around uh, 70 frames per second in this game in the benchmark, which the benchmark is in the options. It's down here in the PC performance test. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to exit out the game, though. And at the very end of this, I'm going to close it off by showing you how you can change, or I'm sorry, how you can have the FPS counter on your games. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to uh, your Steam, settings, uh, go down to end game like I have it right now. Right here it will say, if you have the latest version of Steam, it will say end game FPS counter right here. I put mine at the top left and you can, you know, rearrange it to wherever you want. And then I also heavily recommend putting it at high contrast color. Check this off. You know, then hit OK. Basically, high contrast color is going to make it that green color that you saw. Um, instead of, if you don't have that checked off, it'll be a white color. You know, that's all really preference, honestly, but I do recommend the green color because it's easier to see, uh, depending on whatever situation you're in in your game, if you're trying to look at your FPS while you're in game. Anyways, guys, that is everything you need to know how to fix your Batman Arkham Knight if it is getting FPS drops and it's basically unplayable. You just need to edit out that file and there you go. I hope this, you know, tutorial video was great. Once again, I do not take all the credit. Once again, I will say, I hit my mic again. I apologize for that if that picked up. Once again, I will not take all the credit. The credit is definitely with uh, Hippio Mando right here, this guy right here. So, uh, you can all thank him on his Steam account or whatever, Adam, if you want, I guess. I don't know if he'll accept all of those or whatever. Um, but send him a message, you know, tell him thank you and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching the video. I hope this helped. I hope your game is all of a sudden just not, you know, being very unplayable and very unstable now. And uh, enjoy Batman Arkham Knight. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.